I want to start by saying Brakatha Yahawu, Brakatha Yaharasha, Brakatha Yahawu, Brakatha Yaharasha. Call Halau Yahawu by Shim Yahashai, Call Halau Yahawu by Shim Yahashai, by Shim Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone that told me this doctrine in truth and sincerity. Shalom unto the elect. The Heavenly Father's name is Yahawu, which means he is or he exists. By Shim, in the name of his only begotten Son, who the world ultimately calls Jesus Christ, we know his name to be Yahawu Shai, which means he is the deliverer, he is the savior for the Hebrew Israelites. From the pedigree of your father, Bashim in the name of the Rokak Kwadash, which means the Holy Spirit that's able to give us the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of who we are, which are the true Hebrew Israelites. For so called Negro, so called Latino, so called Native American, or of the speckled bird, looking like the other nations in your spirit, bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahab Bashim and Ashai, you could be one of the elect. Shalom. We've been discontinued from our heritage because we went off following after false gods and false idols, not following the law of such commandments that was given to us by our forefathers. And because of those offenses, we were sent into captivity. But through our Lord, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, being that perfect sacrifice in the flesh to the Heavenly Father, he's been given all power to be able to sit on the right-hand side, to be able to open the seals of this book, to be able to give the understanding to the disciples, the apostles, and the prophets, and the men on down before the said destruction. And with that knowledge, wisdom, understanding, we're able to know who our oppressor is, which is Esau, Edom. Esau means wasted away is, and they are the biblical Edomites that it speaks about in the scriptures, which would be the wicked today. That would have the fatness of the earth, the resources, the monetary system, and would rule it with the great sword. And with that great sword, there's many different teeth. You have their military force, okay, but you also have their pestilence, and you also have where they're able to push forth enchantments through their tele vision, pushing forth sorcery, um, and pushing forth fear on the people. But Yahab HaShem has not given us the spirit of fear and has given us knowledge, wisdom, understanding to, to be able to know the times that we're in, okay? Which is the time of a, a great destruction, the time of great plagues, the time of tribulation, the time of Jacob's trouble, okay? And the time is at the end, okay? Um, this article, the lesson is going to be sent around this article. It says, Nightmare in Kiev in White House, China, Rejected the U.S. ultimatum, arms deliveries to Russia begin, Putin's statements, okay? And this is going into China and Russia aligning, which they're already aligned in the BRICS nations. Um, and Russia just yesterday, um, Putin said he's not going to value the treaty that, that they had um, with America, okay? That they wouldn't do certain testing or, or on these missiles, okay? And now they're going all out. And China's starting to trade with Russia even more, and they're openly... Uh, blatantly going uh, against uh, Babylon the Great, which is all part of the scriptures, okay, that these nations, these heathen nations that were once allied, confederate with the far as, you know, China is is um, ex, is a export, you know, a great export uh, country, far as they export to America, everything's made in China, and now what's that going to do that's going to cut off the resources that are being sent over here, and Russia is known for what, their oil, okay, their oil, their, their natural gas, OK, and they're they're cutting off the market by aligning together, cutting out America, cutting out Babylon the Great. OK, which is all part of the scriptures. Let me get a scripture real quick. This is Obadiah one and seven. All that men of the Confederacy have brought thee even to the border. Thy men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and they prevailed against thee. They that eat their bread have laid wound under under thee. There is none understanding in him. So even though. Um, you know, America took down uh, Russia in the Cold War. OK, they were still doing trade deals. OK, they still have, um, you know, over here in America, they still have what their their um, diplomacy far as they're they're able to come over from Russia. You know, people from Russia are able to come over here. OK, and they do dealings. They have people that are doing dealings that are with Russia. OK, now that's starting to, um, you know, go away. And these nations that were once, you know, breaking bread, they're starting to um, see that Babylon is that whore. Okay, Esau Edom's being made bare, which is the so-called white man of today. Okay, and he's being made bare. He's being exposed. His money, his petrol dollar, is no more. Okay, and so which means that he's going to have to be a cardinal. Okay, and now these uh the Russians are Edomites too. Okay, and Psalms eighty three speaks about uh, Moab. OK, which are the Chinese and they're part of, um, you know, scripture far as they're they're trying to be like the whore too. far as them implementing their, um, you know, draconian measures on the on their people over there, far as putting them in different camps. And Carl Schwab said that he likes what China's doing, OK, because they all want to bring in all these heathen nations want to bring in their Novus Otis Aquarium, their New World Order. 
okay? But they're fighting over the resources, the technology that it takes, as far as the lithium over there in Ukraine, uh, Taiwan, you have the semiconductors, okay? So they're fighting over the, you know, then you have uh, Russia that has the natural gas, the oil, okay? And they're cutting off supplies that's going to, um, you know, Germany and, and France and Great Britain, and that's going to make these uh, NATO nations that are joined unto America, um, you know, mad at Babylon the Great, which is all part of scripture, okay? It's all part of prophecy. Let me read this one more time in the NLT. It says, all your allies will turn against you. Let me actually, I want to get um quick scripture, this one right here. It says, Obadiah 1 and 2, behold, I've made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised, okay? And when you go into that word uh, small, it goes into unimportant. Okay, Babylon the Great was known as that beacon of light, and you had to go through America as far as with the petrol dollar to be able to deal with them. Now these other heathen nations are now saying they are strong, and they are what? Preparing for war. Let me read this again. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. They're greatly despised. Why? Because every time they do a deal with these different countries, uh, they speak with a double tongue, and they also come with a double heart. They always have um, an ill intention as far as um, uh, any dealings with anybody. OK, even their even their own people, Obadiah one and seven in the NLT, all your allies will turn against you. They will help to chase you from your land. They will promise you peace while plotting to deceive and destroy you. Your trusted friends will set traps for you and you won't even know about it. OK, one of their trusted friends was Turkey and Turkey started to uh, align with Russia. OK, uh, one of their trusted friends was Saudi Arabia. OK, and they started Saudi Arabia trying to align with Russia, OK, which is Magog and Gog in the scriptures or the Medes in the scriptures. Right. And another scripture that um, just quick, real quick before I go into the article. Um, they America and Russia had a treaty. OK, and what did what did uh, Vladimir Putin say yesterday in his speech? He said he's not going to um, respect that treaty. This is. um. Yep, right here. Babylon will fall to the Medes, which is Russia today. Okay, Isaiah 13 and 17. Behold, I will stir up the Medes. Who's stirring up? Yahweh Hashem Hashai. Proverbs 21 and 1. The king's heart is in the hands of Yahweh Hashem Hashai, and he stirred the waters wherever so he will. That's why these different nations are beefing against each other, because the Lord's bringing forth the plagues on these heathen nations. Okay, the judgment. The Lord's known by his judgment. Okay. Behold, I will stir up the Medes, which is Russia, against them, which shall not regard silver as for gold. They shall not delight in it. OK, so they're not regarding in any type of treaty, any type of trade, because now it's time for war. The Lord is preparing them for war. OK, he's got gather. Um, there's a sound of battle in the land. Jeremiah 50. OK. And World War Three is prophesied in the scriptures. Revelation um, 11 and 14. OK. The second world has come, and now the third world come qu cometh quickly, okay? Going into World War III. But the end is not yet because they have to implement um, the seed to the hip, which is something that's physical. They want to embed inside of your hand or your forehead. That has to be implemented first, and then the destruction will come, okay? Joel 3 and 9, proclaim ye among the Gentiles, okay? Prepare war, wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. OK, and what are they doing? They're preparing their mighty men. They're doing training exercises. You have North Korea firing off missiles. You have Russia where they said they're not going to um, respect that treaty that they made with America. China is now saying that that they're uh, sending uh, weapons over there to Russia. OK, let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. OK, yep. Let all your fighting men advance for the attack. OK, and these nations, both of those nations right there, they're both in. Uh, two different things, but this means the same thing, basically. Okay, China is in a, a thing called the war cabinet, which a war cabinet, okay, is a community formed by a government in a time of war to efficiently, effectively conduct that war. It is usually a subset of full executive cabinet of ministers, although it's quite common for a war cabinet to have a senior military officers and opposition and politicians as members. Okay, and the work, that's what China's in right now. They're in a, um, a war cabinet. As uh, far as their uh, economy, all their economy is going to um, a war, okay? And Russia's in a thing called mobilization, okay? Which war mobilization. and civilization, it's like a war cabinet and mobilization are the same same things, just different words, okay? Mobilization, it says the action of a country or its government preparing and organizing troops for active service, okay? 
active service. They're ready to ready to fight. The Lord is what put thy jaws, put thy hooks in thy jaws of what Esau eat him. Okay, which which those are Edomites too over there in Russia. But it's speaking about Ezekiel 38 and 4 is speaking about Russia. Okay, Magog and Gog, right? Two, it says the action of making something movable or capable of movement. And what are they doing? They're moving their um their soldiers and to be able to fight in these different regions, okay, and to set up tanks and to set up these F-22s, these F-15s, to set up these, you know, um, these different military strategic tactics, you know, set up even these um, different missiles and things like that, they, need, they, they take a certain amount of time, okay, they usually take three to six months to be able to be set up, but they're already in place, that's why NATO is over there fighting against Russia, okay, and, and over there in Ukraine, it says the action of a country or its government preparing and organizing troops for active service. Yeah, for active service. OK. Which goes right into the uh, prophecy that this would happen. OK, Joel three and ten. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let your weak say I'm strong. OK, going into um, now China and Russia are doing trade deals. You have Iran uh, also doing trade deals with Russia. OK. And you have America sending uh, weapons over to Taiwan. OK, so it's, they're, they're, you know, they're gathering up. They're, they're um, equipping for what, uh, World War Three. It says like the weak say I'm strong. So these these weak nations that were um, once weak, now they are strong. OK, because a lot of these uh, nations are were agriculture places. OK, agriculture as far as them growing their crops that they had and then selling them. And now what they're gathering up for war, they're in a mobilization or they're in a war cabinet. All their economy is going to war. Okay. It says 11, assemble yourselves and come up, you heathen, and gather yourselves together round about thither because the mighty ones come down, O Lord Yahweh Shema Ashai. Okay. So this, this war in the valley of Yahweh Shapat, they're going to be fighting over there on the western side of Syria. Okay. What are they fighting for? The oil. Okay. Just like we're fighting for the oil, far as the spiritual oil. Okay. On, on the right hand side, they're fighting for the spirit, the, the physical, the cardinal oil on the left hand side, fighting for the resources to bring in the new world order. OK. So let's go into the article. <clears throat> it says. All right. China rejected U.S. pressure to ultimatum and become and socket and begins deliver weapons systems to Russia. This is the conclusion reached by Western uh, analysts who emphasize the situation in Ukraine is now turning upside down. OK, and it speaks about that in Isaiah 29. The things will be shall be turned upside down. OK, and the Western is speaking about America. OK, which is Babylon the Great in the scriptures. It says a while ago, Wang Yi assured uh, Vladimir Putin. So that would be a, a V, but because the uh, <clears throat> Slaki, the um. The site, you know, War News 24-7 is in Greek and it translates to um, English. So I'd be Vladimir Putin that China-Russia relations are now are not subject to pressure from third countries such as USA, China, and Russia. So what are they doing? They're cutting off the middleman, which is Babylon the Great. Going into I've made you small among the nations, unimportant, okay, to these other heathen nations. Now these other heathen nations are saying that they they, they are strong, okay? Cooperation is very important for stability in the new multipolar uh, world that is being created okay it says um we we most we most actively implement our efforts to respond to the crisis and deepen our cooperation okay it says the cooperation between russia and china is very important for stabilization of international situation we have a lot of work in common, and of course, and what's their what's the thing in common that they want to take down Babylon the Great because they believe they are next. Because in the BRICS nations, um, they have where they don't want to control the people; they just want everyone to be in trades with each other. Okay, but the New World Order that that the Rothschilds and the Rockefellers want is full control. Okay, full control of all the governments and what they're doing, going into the the New World Order that they want to push. That's going to all go to naught. Okay. <clears throat> it says we have a lot of work in common and of course we are waiting for president of people's republic of china to visit russia okay i believe that xi jinping it says it should be noted that china's ministry of foreign affairs attacked the u.s in the statement it says the u.s says it wants to keep peace but in reality it is making profits from war okay 
going into Esau Edom having that great sword. And they, and America is the number one arm dealer, arms dealer, okay? U.S. says it wants to keep the peace, but reality is making profits for more. American military operations are making a lot of money from the war in Ukraine. And that's scripturally, okay? That's scripture right there. That's, that's fire. Psalms 55. Psalms 55, and I'll start from 20, and I'll read this in NLT. As for my companion, he betrayed his friends and he broke his promises. So he's broken every promise that he had. Even with uh, Russia, they had a treaty to not cross a certain line, which would have been the Iron Curtain of, of um, you know, setting up in Ukraine. But what did America do? They sent troops over there, but they said they're not doing it. But this is what they were speaking about right here. 21, the words of their mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in their heart. Going into the heart, goes into Hebrew word, lahav or lab, uh, which means your mind. Okay. Their mindset was, uh, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to get down. Okay. We're going to go into war. Okay. But we're not going to tell them we're going to try to creep in. That's, that shows you that that's that serpent mentality. Okay. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil yet were they John swords. Okay. Yeah. So, and they knocked off a lot of people in Ukraine and Ukraine will be destroyed just like any nation that's joined unto Babylon the great. Okay, any heathen nation. The only people that are going to be able to be saved is the hopeful elect. Okay. Going back to the article. This is the is is the US ashamed? The US followed a policy of war to the last Afghan in Afghanistan. So going into the contracts, they never keep them. Okay. It says fight to the last Ukrainian. US pursued a policy of of uh, fighting to the last Afghan, Afghanistan, Chinese fort. Let's see what it says. Slaki. 要战斗到最后一个阿富汗人的政策难道今天还要让乌克兰战斗到最后一个乌克兰人吗 Okay, that's, that's the Mobites, okay, which are the Chinese, right? It says, China and Russia side a common front in the hedge money of the West. More in detail, clear commitments that China will not only maintain the strong momentum of the relations with Russia, but also that it will seek new agreements with Russian side with undertaken by the top Chinese diplomat Wang, Wang Yi during his uh, visit to Moscow, where he met with the Russian foreign minister, S. Lavra. Okay. It says he is meeting with the president Putin in Kremlin, said China and Russia, formerly a common front against Western hedge money. It says, I am ready to exchange views with our dear friend on issues of mutual interest and expect to reach new agreements. We are steadfastly pursuing an independent, autonomous foreign policy and implement further opening of strategies in the spirit of a mutual benefit and a win-win. We will open new horizons in the development of cooperation, not only with Russia, but also with countries of the world through modernization of China, while we also seek to improve uh, essence of interaction with all partners, the Chinese diplomat asserted. All right, so... They're gearing up. And I, I'm on the um, I'm at the plantation, so I gotta just I want to get into some scriptures. Just want to see if any more. It says, uh, we are touching new horizons. Putin said the satisfaction that he expects Chinese President Xi Jinping to visit Russia. Yep. So is is the prophecy um is popping. Okay. China will strengthen any cooperation with Russia are directed against the third countries, resist pressures. He underlined the Chinese foreign minister was welcomed to Kremlin. All right. Okay, so we get the point. Let's let's get to let's get these scriptures. So we have um so America or Saki like China is trying to be like America. Okay? And they're in these Mobites are in the scriptures. This is second Ezra 15 <coughs> Yeah. Second Ezra 15 and 46. 
and they're headed for a great judgment. Second Ezra 15 and 46, and thou, O Asia, that are partaker of the hope of Babylon. So Asia goes into um, the, the, the Chinese, right? Are partaker of the hope of Babylon and are that glory of his person. Okay, partaker with Babylon because they're trying to do the same thing as, as, a, as Babylon the Great, okay, which is America. Woe be unto them, which woe means destruction, be unto them, thou thy wretch, because thou hast made thyself like unto her and hast decked thy daughters in whoredom, that they might please and glory the lovers which they have always desired to commit whoredom with thee. So um, China always is what? Um, engaged in uh, fornicating with America, okay? That's why you have McDonald's over there. That's why you have man on man, woman on woman transformers. Okay. And they're going to be judged with that, that old wretch. Okay. Going into that old scoundrel. They become just like this scoundrel. Okay. And they're going to be thrust through just like uh, these other heathen nations. I think they got next. 48. Thou hast followed her that has hated all her works and inventions. Therefore said Yahweh Shema Hashat. So they have followed the same inventions. Okay. They're leading the charge for as. Um, you know, putting people in these um, these FEMA camps, okay, these internment camps, and what having what a social credit uh, score, okay, going into you can't say nothing about the government, right? They're leading the charge. It says, "I will send plagues upon thee." Yeah, Yahabash Mashai is going to send the plagues upon thee: widowhood, poverty, famine, sword, and pestilence to waste the houses with destruction and death. Going in, so there's going to be um, a great destruction over there. Okay, now the whole the whole uh, earth. It's not going to be destroyed, but there's there's going to be over 200 missiles that are going to be firing off, okay? And the Lord's going to send the plagues on what uh, these Moabites for thinking they got next, okay? 50, and the glory of the power shall be dried up as a flower. The heat shall arise that is sent over thee. So what's that heat? Those hypersonic missiles that are going to be sent through. They're going to be um, sent to these different places um, of these different nations, these different heathen nations that think they got next. This is Jeremiah... 51 and 11. So that's for uh, what China. Okay. That's for these mobites, Asia, right? So this is uh, for um, what Russia, Jeremiah 51 and 11, make bright the arrows. And what are the arrows? Those arrows are the missiles, right? Gather the shields. Okay. Gather up your F-22s, your F-15s, your tanks. Okay. Get your, get your uh, mighty men and prepare for war. The Lord Yahweh have raised up the spirit of the kings of the Medes, okay, which are the Russians, right, for his devices against Babylon. Yeah, so that's why these different heathen nations are gathering up against Babylon the Great, which is America today, to destroy it because of the vengeance of Yahweh Shemashah, the vengeance of his temple, okay, because they these are the same people that desecrated the temple that said, what, erase it, erase it. So Yahweh Shemashah is sending forth the plagues on Babylon the Great by destroying their economy on the inside and the outside will be uh, those hypersonic missiles firing off from these different nations and ultimately uh, the chariot on the top, our Lord Yahweh Shai and the Archangel Michael destroying this place. OK. And so all these heathen nations are going to be having a judgment for it, thinking that they got next. Let's get that. And I'll end it in there. This is second Ezra 16 and one. Woe be unto thee, Babylon and Asia. Woe be unto thee, Egypt and Syria. Okay, going into these different heathen nations, thinking they got next. Asia going into China. Okay, Syria going into what um, Yahweh Shabbat, Yahweh's judgment. Okay, the the Iranians, you know the um, the Middle Eastern. There's going to be a great war fought over there. Okay, many many deaths. It says, let me start from the top again. Woe, which means destruction, be unto thee in Babylon, Babylon the Great, America, and Asia. These these uh these Psalms eighty three. These crafty councils. Woe be unto thee in Egypt and Syria. Gird up their cells with clothes, uh, socket with cloths, a sack and hair. Bewail your children and be sorry for your destruction at hand. Going into weeping and mashing of teeth. Okay. The judgments. And Yahabash Shai is known by his judgment. A sword is sent upon you. Okay. And who may turn it back? Okay. And Yahabash Shai, if it draw me uh, 32 and 39 on down, speaks about if I wet my glittering sword, who shall turn it back? Okay. The judgment is already uh, sent from the beginning. Okay. It says, a fire is sent among you who may quench it. Yeah, who's going to be able to stop it? Okay, nobody. Okay, it's prophecy. Plagues are sent unto you that what is he that may drive them away? So yeah, who can be able to stop Yahabah Shema uh, Who can be able to stop prophecy? Okay, no one. Okay, may any man drive away any hungry lion in the wood or may anyone quench the fire and stubble when it had begun to burn? Okay, and the, the burning already started. Uh, when Elder Abba Bivens was on the scene, 
Okay, when this word came out, that was the decline of, of Babylon the Great and these other heathen nations thinking that they got next. Okay, that was the fire that was kindled and ultimately will become physical. Okay, it says seven, may we turn a, a, again the arrow that is shot of a strong archer. Okay, an arrow going into those missiles. Okay, that strong archer going into them being in those silos. Okay, and they're already on target. Uh, Russia has a thing called the death hand. That if any ha anything happens to the presidents, the missiles still hit. And the spirit of Yahabba Shema Shai is going to be inside those missiles, meaning that they're going to hit their target. Eight, the mighty Lord sent at the plagues. And who is that can drive them away? Yeah, so who, who's going to stop this? Okay, who's going to stop the plagues that are sent upon this place? Who's going to stop those hypersonic missiles? No one, because Yahabba Shema Shai is in control of the whole movie. Good and evil. And good and evil are both obedient to Yahabba Shema Shai to bring forth prophecy. Okay, nine, a fire shall go forth from his wrath, and who is that that shall quench it? Yeah, who's going to be able to stop it again? These are all questions. He shall cast lightnings, and who shall not fear? He shall thunder, and who shall not be afraid? The Lord Yahabba Shemashai shall threaten, who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at his presence. So again, beaten to powder, okay, going into uh, being melted, okay, because you're just a, what, a vessel, okay, and Yahabba Shemashai is with the potter, right? And he's sending forth his judgments on those that hate him, okay? And he's going to, um, at the same time, a great destruction. There's also going to be a great deliverance. And we're praying that we're, um, you know, of that number. Twelve, the earth quaketh in the foundations thereof. The sea riseth up with waves from the deep going into these tsunamis. Okay. And the waves of it are troubled and the fishes thereof also before the Lord, Yahweh Shemashai, before the glory of his power. For strong is the right hand that bendeth the bow. Okay. The bow goes into um, those silos, okay, his arrows goes into the missiles, those hypersonic missiles that shooteth are sharp going into, they're going to hit, Deuteronomy 32 and 39, if I wet my glittering sword, who shall stop it, roughly paraphrasing, and shall not miss, yes, yeah, shall not miss, when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world, going into China, going over to America, Russia, going over to what the end of the world, which is a Babylon the Great, okay, the fourth, the fourth part of the earth. 14, behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come upon the earth. The fire is kindled and who shall be who shall not be put out? OK, the fire is kindled and shall not be put out. OK, so it's not going to be put out. It's, it's written from the beginning till it consumed the foundation of the earth going into the destruction that's going to be in Babylon, the great and other parts of the world um, for what they're um, thinking that they got next. OK, for their pride. So with that. Kahala Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai Ba Hashem Rakakwadash Shalom Tzalek Kwam Yashalom.